Hey guys, it's Scott the Steamroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com. It is Friday the 23rd of December and this is your play of the day. Before we get going on that, all we ask is that you guys would take one quick minute, smash that thumb, give us the like, you know the drill. As always, we appreciate the effort. And while you're smashing, make sure you smash that subscribe button, ring the bell, and get notified every time we put up brand new content, including dropping episode... 16 already? Yeah, 16 of Once Upon a Time in America. Rise of the greatest sports betting show in the world. Make sure you check that out. And uh, yeah, and uh, for those of you that were waiting on the drawing, we didn't do it today. Uh, Rocky realized that he was going to be flying at the same time we're going to do the drawing. So we'll be doing the drawing later today. In fact, at the usual time, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. All right, so there you go. Uh, naturally, we want to know what you're playing. Whatever you got cooked up for today, put your best bet in the comments section, you want to drop more to help your fellow handicappers, you can sure do that. Make sure you put make your first bet your best bet or put a little BB beside it. Let me know what's your favorite. Put the odds in there. Let me know what it pays. Parlays, anything goes, whatever you want to play, whatever you can make money on, put them in there. You get it right. You make a profit. We'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right. You make enough profit. You could be capper of the day. You do it for seven days. Show your worth. You could be capper of the week. And, uh, there's a big announcement about Capper of the Week. You know how I've been saying that uh, I'm going to try to get some money, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's done. It's done. Um, the Capper of the Week contest, after the first of the year, will pay uh, 50 bucks. I'm assuming it's going to come in the form of a gift card, just like a Visa gift card or whatever. Um, so there you go, guys. Let's uh, let's compete. Let's find out what happens. Tell your friends. Share it. Because um, we're. Uh, I was... Uh, I've uh, almost I've promised them that uh, our numbers will go up for views and uh, interaction once we start giving away fifty bucks. So don't make me look like a moron, okay? Um, all right, let's talk about what we did yesterday. Oh my goodness, that was a fun prop. <laughs> we had um, <laughs> we had Zon of a night oh, for fifty five and a half yards. Uh, Ted Piano reported that at uh, 11 a.m., I'm assuming Eastern time, I don't know, uh, points bet had it at 60 and a half. So we beat a hell of a line move. It made no difference at all. Guys, I got to tell you, I've missed on some props, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I don't think I've ever taken a prop that ended worse than it started. Further away from the goal than when it started, uh, Knight ran uh, six carries minus two yards. Thank you very much. I don't know what Robert Salah was thinking. Uh, driving fucking rainstorm. They run 10 plays. Running back, uh, running backs ran the ball for 10 carries. That's it. Uh, still to make a damn bit of sense to me. I know Jacksonville is playing good rush defense, but you got to keep banging. You got to keep, especially, Jesus Christ, you got a quarterback that you replaced in the third quarter and you're still not running the foot. What the fuck are we doing here? Okay. Anyway, I, I don't understand it. I, I was in the best set. The sad part is, I was torn between uh, Etienne, which I think was yeah, 69 and a half, maybe 70, whatever it was. And I was torn between that and Knight. I'm like, you know what? I like this. Uh, I think this Jets team is going to run the little ball a little bit more. I think they have a little less faith in their quarterback. It's a better number, blah, blah, blah. Well, as you know, it was a terrible choice. So, sorry, guys. That's uh, not good. Not good. Um, did well on the premium side. Uh, we go five and three, including uh, hitting our best bet, which was the uh, so shocker, the under in the Jacksonville Jets game. Come on, seriously. So uh, there you go. You guys want to get some best bets? You want to get some plays? Got them cooked up for you. Got a, a new promo code. It is, uh... <laughs> well, it's on yesterday's video for no apparent reason. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll tell you what it is here. I know everybody's waiting with bated breath to find out what it is. It is LP74GST50. That's a 50% discount for this week. That's right. Finally got me to use the right code. 60%. Sorry, guys. Uh, LP74GST50. Of course, that is in the uh, description of the video. That'll get you 50% off my best bet. Cool thing about the best bet, comes with a guarantee. Uh, you don't win, you don't pay. So it's normally $49.99. We'll give it to you for $25. And uh, naturally, it applies to longer packages as well. My longer packages all include the best bet without the guarantee. So choose your uh, choose wisely, young grasshopper. 
And, of course, we are sponsored by No House Advantage. Fantasy sports are redefined. You can bet on player over-unders for a shot to win up to 21 times your bet or play them in pick them contest against other folks for cash prizes. Simply visit NoHouseAdvantage.com or download the No House Advantage app. Make sure you use the code WNW for a first-time deposit code bo- a bonus rather up to $50. All right, kids. Well, let's uh, see what we got cooked up for today. Uh, M-I-Z... Z-O-U, baby. Uh, it's Wake Forest and Mizzou. And uh, you know what? 58 and a half is the number. We're going to play the over here. Guys, even though I feel fine, uh, it doesn't mean the cap can't be short and sweet, okay? Here we go. Uh, we all know how good Sam Howell is and uh, how good this Wake Forest offense is. Uh, run a, a fantastic version of the RPO. Uh, he really, we were talking about mesh points the other day, and nobody stretches the mesh point like Sam Howell. And uh, what that does, obviously, is uh, uh, makes defenses take that step, makes them take that extra beat, which allows him to have guys open down the field or make the right decision uh, and hand the ball off. So very good offense, 36.2 points per game, 15th in the country. Uh, Defense, as you might uh, have known by now, uh, they were awful, 31 points per game. That's 100th in the country. They were uh, third worst in the ACC, just behind the all-time dreadful offense of North Carolina and uh, Boston College. Now, Mizzou offense is going to be missing Dominic Lovett, uh, pretty much their top wide receiver. However, uh, freshman five-star recruit Luther Burden has become more involved over the last few games, and I think this is they're going to give him an opportunity to shine in this one. But the bigger news uh, is who's not going to be there defensively. Uh, Mizzou's going to be missing their two starting defensive linemen and their starting safety. Uh, Wake Forest pass defense, which was not good to begin with, going to be missing two of their top three corners. Demons, they gave up 36.6 points per game over their last five. Now, they played uh, some tough competition. They did play uh, North Carolina in that stretch. No shame in that. But where the shame is, they gave up 48 to Louisville, 35 to Syracuse. Uh, not good. Uh, Mizzou, they've faced three pretty much uh, elite offenses this season. They got gashed by two of them. Gave up 40 to K-State. Gave up 66 to Tennessee. Only gave up 30, uh, 26 to Georgia. But if you watch that game, Georgia pretty much uh, slept walk through about the uh, first th- th- three and a half quarters. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, I think you pencil in Wake Forest here for 35 plus. I think that gives us plenty of room to get over the hump of uh, and I've got it actually, it's going to, yeah, 58 and a half is the number on that one. So check it out. Wake Forest, Mizzou, get your stuff down over 58 and a half at the end of that game. You guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, there you go. Uh, we'll check out, uh, capper of the day and a nice day was had by many, many of you. Uh, Max Garcia, one and plus 500. He had, uh, Pelican's first quarter. Christopher Padgett, 1 0, plus 500, had Lawrence uh, over 12 and a half rush yards. Mm, there you go. Tebow, Thomas Bow, 1 0, plus 500, had Baylor Air Force over 43 and a half, a play I also had on the premiums. Uh, our Rivera 911, 1 0, plus 500, uh, had a uh, two teamer with a, a little teaser with the Jags plus 7 and a half and over 27 and a half, minus 129. Doc Brown, 1 0, plus 500, Air Force plus 10 and under 50. Uh, the Butcher, 1-0 plus 500, had Jack's team total over 17. Uh, and Casino, 1-0 plus 500, had the Jack's plus 2.5. But your capper of the day, uh, all hands on deck. It's the Capitan. It's Brian Gillahan. Everybody goes 1-0 plus 2280. He had a four-teamer with the Jack's plus 3.5, Yale minus 11, Stanford money line, and the Hawaii uh, Rainbow Warriors money line as well. That paid plus 456. That's how you get to 1-0 plus 2280. Congratulations, Captain. You, my friend, are the capper of the day. Uh, and as far as the capper of the week uh, contest goes, that uh, nice victory uh, vaulted uh, Brian Gillahan into first place. As he currently stands at 469. Max Garcia, slow and steady, wins the race. He's at plus 400 for the week. Our Rivera at 911 is at 238. That's your top three right there. But it's parlays, everybody. So, uh, yeah. It's uh, anybody's game still. So let's go out there and make some money. All right. You got uh, got a big weekend of uh, actually got a weird, like a medium Friday and a big Saturday and then a few games on Sunday. So let's go out there, make some money, make some profit. I'll be back tomorrow. 
I'll try to beat uh, today's play. I'll try to get closer to winning than we did yesterday. We try to get uh, we're two yards away further than we started. So we'll try to see if we can better that, all right? Hey, we'll see you then. You guys be good. I'll, uh, I'll do my best. You know, I'm coming up with a play to help us all, all of us, head back to the window. You guys take care. We'll see you then.